Lynn Eben. Welcome back to Hala Hala, the show that aims to spotlight our very own Asian Pacific American talent. And today in our Hala Musicians Corner, meet songwriter, singer Fiona Dawn, whose mission is to bridge both Chinese and American culture through her music. My name is Fiona Dawn, and I'm a singer-songwriter based in Seattle, Washington. Um, I went to school and I majored in Chinese and communications, but I uh, really started to write music when I was in college, when I studied abroad in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. I just had so much inspiration, being in a new city, meeting new people, and so when I went back to Seattle, I started to record my music and uh, spent a lot of time doing that. And then last fall, I put up my music on iTunes and Spotify. And through that, a lot of people started to notice me. Yeah. Like they were doing a lot of blogs about me. They've been inviting me to do shows. And then my band and I recently, last year in May, we went down to Austin, Texas for a showcase for South by Southwest. So that was super, super fun. And just like more and more exposure for my music to a lot of people. Yeah, and then your your sound is really unique because uh, you have the, all these different elements from the West meets East, East. and it's kind of like you, right? Totally. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I'm a Chinese American, born and raised. Um, my parents are super, super traditional. So while I was listening to hip hop and grunge music at home, uh, my mom and dad would play a lot of like Teresa Tang. Roman Tam, like, you know, Hong Kong music, China music, and I love that too. I love Chinese pop ballads, and that, that's how I learned my Chinese too, was listening to music. And I felt like, you know, I, I definitely wanted to contribute and be a part of change and progress in, like, Chinese pop. Yes. Yeah. So how did you find inspiration? And what's the creative process like for you? Inspiration for me is mostly through my own personal experiences because you're most attached to it and it's, it's the easiest for you to write something down. Um, the creative process for me, if it's not my own personal experiences, I will create it from like my friends' experiences. Mm -hmm. So they are... Something you read. Yeah, exactly. They're inspiration to me. Like once you're able to like empathize with a certain like person or feeling, it's very, very easy for you to come up with a story. And so like the song is, writing a song is super fun for me because within like three to four minutes, how can you explain something, rhyme, have it rhyme, have it sound good and connect with people. So for me, songwriting is very, very fun and enjoyable. I know you're about to embark on uh, a trip to Beijing. Yeah, yeah. Very exciting. Tell us about that. Yeah, so I've been invited to uh, attend the Chinese Spring Gala show for Beijing Television. It's like the only television show for uh, for the Chinese New Year where they have a lot of people from all over the world come to celebrate Chinese New Year, mm -hmm. and I get to it's help. a big deal. Yeah, and I get to sing their theme song, I Love You, which is very meaningful because, I mean, I've, I've watched it from, you know, a couple years back, that theme song and that television segment. It's like people from Africa, from Europe, who come together and sing in Chinese together, just to talk about how they care about each other, and we are one and the same in this whole world. And so I'm very honored and very excited that I get to be a part of this. Got a case of the love drug. People been infected to the point of going dumb, dumb. Don't know why they play, still stay in the game. Just to circle in and circle out till they're in a daze. Get ready for some battle scars. Someone always wins. You go in and come out too fast. My head spins. Yes. Um, in five years, I have no idea where I will be, but I definitely I. Like my main thing, I would definitely want to perform at music festivals that I saw inspiration from, and one of them was just Coachella. So I definitely want to perform there. I hope that I can reach a big audience there, and as well as Strawberry Music Festival in China. But those are small goals, but I still <laughs> so one step at a time. Yeah, one step at a time. So I really so uh, right now in, in the music industry, who, who 
were your idols? So who do you want to become hopefully someday? Wow. I well, okay. So in Who's, who do you find inspired? Like you know. Yeah, people have inspired me in the past. Amy Winehouse, Adele, for sure. A lot of bands. They all have really powerful voice. Yeah, they do. They also have kind of deeper voices, which I connect with. Yeah. So maybe you <laughs> our Chinese Adele someday. Uh, yeah, we'll see if that could happen. I don't think anyone can really replace her, but no, not <laughs> replace. But it, yeah. she's a good, good goal. She's she's a great inspiration for me to kind of keep finding out who I, who I am, who I want to become. Yeah. Well, I want to congratulate you again. Thank and you. And then uh, best to you to your trip in Beijing, and come back and see us. I so, will. I okay. will for sure. Thank All you. Right. Thank you so much. Love drug, love drug, I go crazy Makes me want you, make you want me It starts with a surprise eyes Then hits my heart with a blinding eye Love drug, love drug, I go crazy Makes me want you, make you want me I'll be stuck with some sleepless nights So take some more Also for chatting with Fiona and for more info on Fiona and her music, her website is FionaDawn.com. When we return, we talk Super Bowl, Doritos, and $1 million. All is explained after the break.